Me want yum yum. Yum yum. I can hear Jim Gaffigan saying that one, huh? In Breadlands, we have a lot of wonderful places to eat at, and yum yum is one of them. Let's look at the donuts. Those are pretty funny, huh? Yes, but they have pretty donuts, and it's in a standalone building on the corner, and across the street is Kuka's. This is Redlands Umbrella Alley where you can eat under the umbrellas. It is really beautiful at night, all lit up. And lots of restaurants down there, down the alley. So I went to the visitor center to do a recon mission and they were closed even though I was there at the right hours. The Redlands clock walk is amazing. You should see that one mechanical clock that shoots marbles. I think it is pretty cool. Gourmet Pizza Shop has been here forever. It's beautiful on the inside. And look at that. You can get four slices for $5.94. But I like the Granny's House with the country gravy, new potatoes, and sausage. Not only do we have a ton of fine dining down there on State Street, but we have world-class shopping. Lots of vintage stores like the Blues, but so many really unique little businesses. I love reading all the t-shirts, don't you? To me, that's a lot of fun. We also have a ton of murals in downtown Redlands. And very interesting signs. That one should be mine. And so many restaurants celebrate Taco Tuesday. It really is a nice historic district that is full of walking opportunities. The middle street is State Street. They're shopping down there and shopping down there on the other street. Where can you park? You can park at the mall right there for free. Why? Because the only thing open in the mall is the CVS and that's our antique post office. Inside the post office they actually have a free museum with old stuff from the post office and it's pretty cool. We have lots of tiny parks and a couple of really huge parks out here. I used to paint and sell my stuff in that park and across the street we have Smiley Library. Such a beautiful building. Let's go inside and explore. These are the originally Smiley Brothers to which the library is named after. Funny they call them the Smiley Brothers but they're not smiling. I don't know how to say this right but someone made cool marionettes of them. Okay I got it now. And believe it or not, they used to dress alike as they walked through town. And we have a couple that still does that. Super clean restrooms at the library. And don't forget to visit the downstairs bookstore. There's a ton of free parking everywhere, including lots like this. Cute stores for kids. Here's a couple of beautiful murals. And there's my baby Lucy. We love walking downtown Redlands. And believe it or not, I took art classes with this teacher and I can't remember his name. Darn it. So let's talk about all the fast food franchises that originated in or near the Inland Empire. Baker's is an example of one. Juan Pollo Chicken is an example. How about McDonald's? I'm sure we've all heard of McDonald's. Carl's Jr. started in LA, but there are so many other franchises. Abolino's is one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. They sell the California burrito and what makes it California is there's french fries in it. They also have daily food specials. You know what I have on my mind, right? Next door we have my favorite, What a Bargain. Right now, as of today, almost everything in here is 99 cents. 99 cents. The food is really good too. Cereal, $1.49, that's two for 99 cents. How sweet is that? The avocado oil was $2.99. This is a big bag of chili, one pound, eight ounces for 99 cents, no beans, and I've had it before and it's delish. These bags of goldfish, 10 for 99 cents. This is not gross, this is delicious. Our town would not let Starbucks come in for the longest time until they agreed to have a retro building and a retro sign. I went to Prospect Park and was so delighted by the nature that this became a painting. Do you like it? 
Believe it or not, I was not able to show you even 1% of our beautiful town. Well, I hope you enjoyed our quick trip and we will see you down the road.